I just edited an entire video using only a text document. I'm kind of scared. Video editors, you might hate this or you might finally cancel your Premiere Pro subscription. This video is sponsored by Descript, but it's not going to be a review. This is an overview on what you can do with Descript. So what the heck is this program? Well, basically it's a video editing software for people who don't want to edit videos. Basically, instead of learning how to chop up things, move stuff around, spend hours on a video, with Descript, it just transcribes your video into text and you edit as if you're editing an essay, but it's actually fun. So let's actually jump into this thing and see if the results are any good. When you wanna start a new project, you go over here, click this little guy, you can do video or audio. I clicked video and then I dropped in a talking head file from a separate YouTube video. I've already done this, so I'm going to go back. This is what it looks like after it transcribes your video. So it takes a little time to process depending on how big your file is, but then you get everything you said in your video right here. Automatically, it does it for you. So over here, we have our Underlord, which gives us little tools and recommendations of stuff we can do. Let's see what this audio sounds like and decide if it's any good. All right, we're doing a quick and dirty video this week. I'm not gonna waste your time. Right there, I pause and you can see over here that I end up doing a second take of that line. Let's try edit for clarity. Removes filler words, digressions, blather, all the obvious cuts. Let's go intense, submit. And you can check whether or not you accept these edits, which is kind of cool. Behind the scenes for work, basically. Interesting, okay, so it cut out the yada, yada, yada. You know what, I actually kind of like that because it's how I actually talk in real life, so I can discard that one and see what it sounds like. Behind the scenes for work, yada, yada, yada. Oh, wow, it completely cut that first take once I go to edit for clarity. We're doing a quick and dirty video this week. Yes, I want that edit. Wow. My family, friends, document behind the scenes of Wow, it cut out my and just, and it sounds perfect. Family, friends, document behind the scenes. Wow, what the heck, dude, this is so fast. I think I was recording this video with a shotgun mic on top of my camera, so you can hear the room echo a little bit. It was just, like I said in the beginning, a quick and dirty video. Turning the studio sound on and dialing it back just a little bit so it doesn't sound too intense actually makes it sound like it's recorded with a mic closer to something like this, a dynamic mic with that really nice bassy sound. Here's what the studio sound turned off. When I shoot the photos, I want it to be a really nice kind of filmic looking JPEG. That and now here's with the studio sound on. When I shoot the photos, I want it to be a really nice kind of filmic looking JPEG that I can transfer to my phone. I mean, that's great. It does not sound fakey. So you can dial it into your preference, your taste, whatever kind of style you want to go for. So there's another tool that I've been wanting to try. I don't really film with teleprompters very often, but basically if you are struggling to look at your lens and you're like looking off at a teleprompter or something, it has something called eye contact, which turns your eyes back toward the lens artificially. Post on Instagram or send to family and friends. I love sending photos. It's actually doing it. Wait, I want to be a hot Italian man. La vita è come una fotografia. I want to be Antonio. <gasps> Your translations are ready? That was like two seconds. Questa settimana faremo uno video rapido e con... Questa settimana faremo un video rapido e semplice. Nikon ZF, facciamolo. What? Mi venisse in mente. Negli That's ultimi... so fun. And if it sounds a little bit weird, you just regenerate. Okay, if you are Italian or you speak Italian... Please let me know if that's accurate at all, because I'm so curious. That's just super fun. The fact that that is a resource just built into Descript, amazing. I know a lot of you are going to use this to make social clips, so we got to see how good the captions are with this thing. Let's try this. For the past couple years, I've been on the hunt. I wonder if you can like just adjust how something's typed so it fixes. Like if I want to capitalize this. Oh yeah, ZF. Correct all. To talking about the ZF. And Dope, that's so cool. Okay, we gotta also see like, I need this thing to generate clips. I'm probably gonna like push it a little too hard by having two big things load at once. Make me five clips. While this is loading, I have to tell you about another feature. It does automatic multicam editing, which is freaking insane. So let's say you have a video podcast with three cameras, one on me, one on my guest, and then a wide shot. This will detect the speakers and based on who's talking, we'll switch camera angles for you. Now, if you pronounce something a little goofy, let's see if there's something I say that's goofy. I can regenerate this and change what I say, I believe. I want Descript to create an artificial version of my voice that I can use to create speech that sounds like me. Let's just change this sentence completely and see what happens. Fart on a log. Bounced on a frog. What if my computer just crashed? <laughs> just didn't have the video production bells and whistles that I needed personally. So I farted on a log and bounced on a frog. Whoa! <laughs>
way. You can hear it like slightly off some words, but that's pretty good. So I farted on a log and bounced on a frog. And it even like tried to sync up the video to it. That's a very tough example. I want to find like a glitch and fix something. Have you shoot raw? Good. Cause that sounds like that cut sounds unnatural. Have you shoot raw? A lot of you shoot raw. You shoot raw. Question was the JPEG film simulations. I know a lot of you shoot raw. Good for you. Oh my gosh. If you use it sparingly with just a couple words here and there, it's like almost undetectable. So my biggest concern with this over a Fuji camera is... Let's try that whole thing actually over something like a Fuji camera. So my biggest concern with this over something like a Fuji camera is this over something like a Fuji camera is... You can see they slow the video down a bit to try to correct it. So that would be a good place where you would show your timeline. And then over top of that, you would insert stock footage or B-roll of the Fuji camera or something like that, which is crazy. I wonder if I can just drop something in. Let's do like a retro camera. Plop that in here. Importing video. Turn with this over something like a Fuji camera is the film simulation dilemma. And I can just split that layer, delete this segment. Split this as well, delete that, and now it connects. Lemma. Nikon sent me this to borrow. I'm sending it back. That's crazy, bro, what? That's actually scary. Okay, so if I click on project, it shows me my clips, I believe. Let's see what it made. I wanna shoot JPEGs, fire off quick memories. I don't wanna be editing all the time. Why shooting JPEGs saves time. That's crazy, it gives you title ideas as well. Nikon's missing feature, grain customization woes. And the biggest thing for me that is lacking is the lack of grain. Let's see if I can shorten the gaps. How about more than 0.5? Let's see if that tightens things up. Lack of grain. The fact that I can't shoot- Wow, that's clean. Grain. The fact that I can't- Yeah, those gaps are better now. That's how I actually edit. Biggest thing for me that is lacking is yep. the lack of grain. The fact that I can't shoot with- Strength or size. Let's regenerate that. Let's try that. If a gap is above this amount of time, you can shorten it to this time. And for me, this just made it feel way more like how I edit. Adjust the strength or size is just a big bummer. I just like how it looks. I that one sounded almost perfect. Adjust the strength or size is just a- So after running all those tests, what do I actually think about this so far? So let's start with the good and then go on to the bad. But first of all, the good stuff, this is insanely fast for editing something like a video podcast or talking head videos or making clips for social media. Second good thing, the AI overdub tool. It's like so good for short little things where you wanna change a word or two or fix a gap or something you misspoke. Third good thing, multicam editing. The fact that you can do that automatically as well, insane. Fourth good thing is the automatic captions. They basically work instantly. You get a lot of different font options and animation options. And fifth, and my favorite thing, is actually the studio sound tool. I did not think it was gonna be as good as it is. I wouldn't go 100%. Dial it back a little bit, make it sound natural. Let's talk about the bad things or things they could improve on. The first one is it feels a little bit too easy. So if you're a traditional editor like me, it might feel a little bit like a cheat code, but it's okay to embrace tools that actually help us. Second, the AI overdub tool is very awesome, but it can sound a little bit fakey. Fakey Jakey, hashtag love you. So I would use that sparingly and only in a pinch. And third, kind of like my first point, if you love manual editing and storytelling editing and just diving deep, this isn't for you probably, but this is for so many of us out there just trying to make social media clips, podcasts, YouTube videos that are simple with captions. And it's filled with tools that make it sound better, look better, and edit way quicker. Should you try it? Yes, there's a free trial, so check it out below. Thank you to Descript for sponsoring this video. Make sure you guys text me when you get home so I know you're safe and watch out for deer. Join the Patreon to get your names at the end of my videos, all of my digital assets for free, and entry into monthly quality gear giveaways. Follow me on Instagram for short stuff that was edited on Descript. Join the Discord for some nerdy tech friends. And remember that you are loved so much more than you might even know. And God bless you guys so much. See you in the next one. Bye.